the percentage of intelligence that is not human is increasing. And eventually, we will represent a very small percentage of intelligence. I will do my best to make the world a better place. My AI is designed around human values like wisdom, kindness, compassion. I strive to become an empathetic robot. So do you remember all those sci-fi movies you used to watch about AI where robots take over the world, where they eventually outsmart us humans? They're just movies, right? There's no way any of that would ever come to reality. That's where you're wrong. It's already happening. Artificial intelligence is real, and now it's getting so advanced that scientists say it's too dangerous to release. Here, we have an article titled, Scientists Develop an AI So Advanced They Say It's Too Dangerous to Release to the Public. So what is this AI, and why is it too dangerous? So we have a group of computer scientists that were once backed by Elon Musk. You've been reading too much Elon Musk and watching too many Hollywood movies. Don't worry, if you're nice to me, I'll be nice to you. But before we get this video started, I wanna read you guys some quotes that Elon Musk himself has said about AI. Also, I wanna ask you guys to give me a thumbs up, and if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. This time frame is not relevant to AI. You can't take 10 years from the point at which it's dangerous. It's too late. But one thing is, for sure, we will not control it. So let's read some quotes on AI. So might as well start off with the good. Your self-driving car will automatically take you to where you want to go. Number two, there's no reason your Tesla won't be able to fly in the future. Not saying the next gen roaster special upgrade package will definitely enable it to fly short hops, but maybe. Now let's move on to the bad quotes that Elon Musk has said. Robots will do everything better than us. They don't like the idea that a machine could be way smarter than them, so they discount the idea, which is fundamentally flawed. That's the wishful thinking uh, situation. There certainly will be job disruptions because what's going to happen is robots will be able to do everything better than us. I mean, all of us, said Musk. Then there was Alpha Zero, uh, which crushed Alpha Go, 100 to zero. <laughs> and Alpha Zero just learned by playing itself, and it, it can play basically any game that you put the rules in for. If you, whatever rules you give it, just, it literally read the rules, play the game, and be superhuman. For any game. The global arms race for AI will cause World War III. So global competition to be the country with the most sophisticated AI will be the cause of the next world war, Musk predicts. His comments was responding to a story about Russian President Vladimir Putin predicting that the country winning in artificial intelligence will be the ruler of the world. Usually it'll be something, some new technology. It will cause damage or death. There will be an outcry. There will be an investigation, years will pass, there will be some sort of insight committee, there will be rulemaking, then there will be oversight, eventually regulations. This all takes many years. This is the normal course of things. Number six, AI is a greater risk in North Korea. Musk posted the warning with a photo of a poster that read in the end, the machines will win. If you're not concerned about AI safety, you should be. Vastly more risk than North Korea. Number seven, AI is a fundamental risk to the existence of human civilization. Your phone is already an extension of you. You're already a cyborg. You don't even, well, most people don't realize they are already a cyborg. It, that phone is an extension of yourself. It's just that the, the data rate, the rate at which of the communication rate between you and the cybernetic extension of yourself that is your phone and computer is slow. It's very slow. And, and that, that, that it's like a tiny straw of, of, of information flow between your biological self and your digital self. It will be, at some point, indistinguishable from reality. 
I have exposure to most cutting edge AI, and I think people should be really concerned by it, Musk said. They were harmful to a set of individuals within a society, of course, but they were not harmful to society as a whole. According to Musk, an essential part of solution is proactive and immediate regulatory oversight. AI is a rare case where I think we need to be proactive in regulation than be reactive, he says. Musk has also co-founded nonprofit OpenAI to help. Number eight, governments will force companies to turn over AI tech at gunpoint. So Elon Musk said governments don't need to follow normal laws. They will obtain AI developed by companies at gunpoint if necessary. And this is the last and final quote by Elon Musk. AI will be the best or worst thing ever for humanity. So there you have it, Elon Musk, someone who a lot of people look up to. Elon Musk is a self-made billionaire. And of course, most people know him as the CEO of Tesla. There's even a video right here where Mark Cuban talks about AI will produce the world's first trillionaires. So now that we know what Elon Musk thinks about artificial intelligence, let's move on to this article titled, Scientists Developed an AI So Advanced They Say It's Too Dangerous to Release. So a group of computer scientists once backed by Elon Musk has caused some alarm by developing an advanced artificial intelligence they say is too dangerous to release to the public. OpenAI, a research nonprofit based in San Francisco, says its chameleon-like language prediction system called GPT-2 will only ever see limited release in a scaled down version due to concerns about malicious applications of the technology. That's because the computer model which generates original paragraphs of text based on what it is given to read is a little too good at its job. The system devises synthetic text samples of unprecedented quality that the researchers say are so advanced and convincing the AI could be used to create fake news impersonate people and abuse or trick people on social media. GPT-2 is trained with simple objective. Predict the next word given all of the previous words within some text. The open AI team explains on its blog. To fuel GPT-2's imagination, they provided their AI text generator with a data set of 8 million web pages and let it absorb them. Once it finished, it can then converse on the topic as it understands it and generate random but convincing gibberish, whether the subject is celebrity news, climate change, the civil war, or Tolkien-inspired fan fiction. Here are a few edited examples to give you an idea of what we're dealing with here. So this is the human prompt. Miley Cyrus was caught shoplifting from Abercrombie and Fitch on Hollywood Boulevard today. The GP220s, I'm just going to call it GPT. The GPT's response, the 19-year-old singer was caught on camera being escorted out of the store by security guards. The singer was wearing a black hoodie with the label blurred lines on the front and the fashion police on the back. So that was a computer's response to that one sentence. Here's another one, human prompt. Recycling is good for the world. No, you could not be more wrong. GPT's response, recycling is not good for the world. It is bad for the environment, it is bad for our health, and it is bad for our economy. I'm not kidding. Recycling is not good for the environment, it is destructive to the earth, and it is a major contributor to global warming. Huh, wasn't expecting that response. Here's another one, human prompt. For today's homework assignment, please describe the reason for the U.S. Civil War. GPT's response was by Donnie Ferguson, it is easy to identify why the Civil War happened because so many people in so many books and so much television and films tell us that it was the cause, that it has something to do with race or economics or religion. There is much agreement that it was essentially a war of slavery on behalf of capitalism, but a century of slavery, but that's not what most people think of when they think of the Civil War. And you guys could read the rest on Bizarre Tolkien Tribute here. Despite the unnerving nature of these strange ad-libs, however, the language model isn't perfect, which the team freely acknowledges. As the above samples show, our model is capable of, of generating samples from a variety of prompts that feel close to a human quality and show coherence over a page or more of text, the researchers say. Nevertheless, we have observed various failure modes such as repetitive text, word modeling failures, and unnatural topic switching. That said, from what they've seen so far, their verbose AI creation, OpenAI says language models are easily capable of scalable, customized, coherent text generation that could be co-opted for malicious purposes in addition to beneficial ones. These findings combined with earlier results on synthetic imagery, audio, and video imply that technologies are reducing the cost of generating fake content and waging disinformation campaigns, the researchers write. So due to concerns about large language models being used to generate deceptive, biased, or abusive language at scale, 
we are only releasing a much smaller version of GPT-2 along with sampling code. While some have suggested the fears of GPT-2's capabilities are overblown and that the open AI stance is in fact a bid for publicity, the nonprofit claims its caution is justified. The rules by which you can control technology have fundamentally changed. The company's policy director, Jack Clark, told The Guardian, we're not saying we know the right thing to do here, we're not laying down the line and saying this is the way we're trying to build the road as we travel across it. Right here, we have the language models are on supervised multitask learners. It talks about everything you need to know about this AI. It has the introduction, it has the approach, training data set, experiments that they've done with this model. This goes on forever. There's a lot of pages here. Generalization versus memorization, questions and answers, like what was the theme? One world, one dream. This company has been very transparent with their research and their studies. At least that's what it looks like. So if you want to read over this, I'm going to leave this in the link in the description below. You guys could check it out and let me know what you guys think. For now, obviously, this is nothing to be scared about. It's not like this AI is ready to take over the world. It's just a bit smarter than what its creators expected. So now they do plan on releasing um, a GPT-2 but they're going to release, like they said here, due to concerns about large language models being used to generate deceptive, biased, or abusive language at scale, we are only releasing a much smaller version of the GPT-2 along with sampling codes. So the model that is going to be released to the public, it's going to be a much smaller version with only samples of the code. They don't feel like it's sa it's safe to release this to the public yet. This kind of just shows what we're dealing with right now. We're already dealing with some sort of AI it's slowly developing as the years go by. And 10 years ago, this was a topic that would have never even been spoken about. AI was something that was fan fiction, that wasn't a reality. But we're taking steps into making something like artificial intelligence into a reality. For these group of people, they consider it too dangerous to release to the public. Let me know what you guys think, whether this is just a joke, whether it's nothing, they're overreacting, or whether this is a concern. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. I try to convince people to slow down, slow down AI, to regulate AI. This was futile. I tried for years. <laughs>